good morning children in today's class we are going to learn about tangent to a circle what do you mean by the word tangent a line that touches the circle at only one point we call as tangent how to write the equation of the tangent given the circle equation or any curve there is an easy technique to write the tangent every curve equation will have these terms x square will come y square x y constant if x square is there i can write x square as x into x 1x you change as x1 y square is y into y 1y you change as y1 2x meaning x plus x 1x you change as x1 2y meaning y plus y 1y we change as y1 constant there is nothing to change it is as it is therefore the technique helps us to write the tangent to any curve in geometry x square becomes xx1 y square becomes yy1 2x becomes x plus x1 2y becomes y plus y1 constant as it is this i can also rewrite x becomes x plus x1 by 2 similarly y becomes y plus y1 by 2 if it is 2x simply write x plus x1 or if it is x alone write x plus x1 by 2 using this technique write the equation for the circle we get x square will become x x1 y square will become y y1 2x is there keep g as it is 2x will become x plus x1 keep f as it is 2y will become y plus y1 plus constant as it is equals to 0 and this is the equation of the tangent at the point x1 y1 what is very important is the word at where is x1 y1 coming on the circle now there is at another tangent which is drawn from the point so if i have a point outside the circle this point x1 y1 is outside the circle how many tangents can i draw p t first tangent p t dash another tangent so from a point outside the circle i can draw two tangents in this case both the tangents are of equal length to measure the length of the tangent we have the formula p t equals to root of the same circle equation i am going to write but wherever x is coming put x1 so circle equation is x square y square 2g x 2f y plus c wherever x and y are coming put x1 y1 and do not put equal to 0 this is the length of tangent from a point x1 y1 to the circle now if you are given a point inside the circle or a point that is outside the circle like p or a point that is on the circle so there are three cases a point is given i can check whether the point is outside or inside or on the circle how can i find it if the point is outside i can measure the length of it so the length root symbol whatever is inside the root say pt square that is 
x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c should be positive. The point is outside the circle. I can measure the length. So length I will say it is positive. If the point is inside the circle, can you draw a tangent? No tangent is drawn. Point is inside the circle tells me what is inside the square root is a negative term. So that I am unable to draw a tangent. So here I will say pt square that is x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c is less than 0. And if a point is on the circle, now also I can draw a tangent, but the point to the tangent, to the circle, I cannot measure. The distance is 0. So we will say pt square, x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c is equal to 0. So, Substitute the given point in the circle equation. My answer is positive. I can declare the point is outside the circle. My answer is negative. The point is inside the circle. And if it is equal to 0, the point is on the circle. So using this idea, we can decide the position of the point with respect to the given circle. Now we are going to learn a condition. For a line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the circle x square plus y square equal to a square. From the line identify what is m and c. From the circle equation with center 0, 0 radius is a. I can write the condition c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square. For any line to be a tangent to the circle here or here, I can say find out m and c from the line equation, find out radius square from the circle equation, the circle necessarily has the center 0, 0. If so, c square equal to a square into 1 plus m square. If this condition is satisfied, I can declare the line y equal to mx plus c is a tangent to the circle. Having all this in mind, let us proceed to the exercise. Exercise 3.5, question number 1, find the equation of tangent to the circle x square plus y square minus 4x plus 4y minus 8 equal to 0 at minus 2 comma minus 2. Take the point as x1, y1 and the circle equation we have copied. How to write the equation of tangent? x square will become x, x1 y square will become y, y1 minus numbers right as it is. Minus 4 into x will become x plus x1 by 2. Plus 4 into y will become y plus y1 by 2. Minus 8 equal to 0 as it is. So the technique of writing tangent x square becomes x x1 y square becomes y y1 minus 4 8 all that right as it is x becomes x plus x1 by 2 y becomes y plus y1 by 2 and these coefficients and constants maintain as it is wherever x1 y1 comes substitute minus 2 comma minus 2 so this becomes minus 2x minus 2y I can cancel minus 2 into x minus 2. Again 2 I can cancel y minus 2 minus 8 equal to 0. So wherever x1, y1 are coming we have put minus 2. This we have cancelled. 
Now simplify minus 2x minus 2y minus 2x minus into minus plus 4 plus 2y minus 4 minus 8 equal to 0. Simplifying the answer minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x plus 2y minus 2y cancels. 4 minus 4 cancels minus 8 equal to 0. Dividing by minus 4 we get x plus 2 equals to 0 which is the required equation of the tangent. Question number 2. Given points P, Q, R. We need to check whether the points lie inside or outside or on the circle. What is the formula to remember in the equation of the circle? Wherever x, y are coming, substitute the points. That answer, positive I will say outside, negative implies inside. Equal to 0 tells the point is on the circle. So call this point P 1 comma 0. P T square let me check wherever X Y are coming put 1 0. So it will become 1 square 0 square 4 into 1 minus 6 into 0 plus 9. That is 1 minus 4 plus 9 which is 6 positive. Therefore, I will say it lies outside the circle. The point P is outside the circle. Check Q now. Q is 2 comma 1. Q T square. Again substitute 2 square plus 1 square minus 4 into 2 minus 6 into 1 plus 9. So in this equation wherever x, y are coming put 2 comma 1. Simplify the answer 4 plus 1 minus 8 minus 6 plus 9 which is 14 minus 14 that is 0. Therefore q is on the circle. The third point R which is 2 comma 3. Find out R T square. Wherever X Y are coming put 2 comma 3. 2 square plus 3 square minus 4 into 2 minus 6 into 3 plus 9. That is 4 plus 9 minus 8 minus 18 plus 9. Which gives me minus 4 which is less than 0. Therefore, R is inside the circle. If PT square is positive, it is outside. Equal to 0 on the circle. Negative, it is inside the circle. Question number 3. Find the length of the tangent from 1, 2 to the circle. X square plus Y square minus 2X plus 4Y plus 9 equal to 0. The point 1, 2 treat it as x1, y1. For the general equation of the circle, the length of the tangent is root of x1 square plus y1 square plus 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c. Substituting for this particular circle, pt equals root of wherever x and y are coming, put 1, 2. So we get 1 square. 2 square minus 2 into 1 plus 4 into 2 plus 9. Do not put equal to 0. This is length. Simplify the answer. 1 plus 4 minus 2 plus 8 plus 9 which reduces to root of 20 which is nothing but root of 4 into 5 or we can say 2 root 5. So the length of tangent is 2 root 5 units. Question number 4. Find the value of P if the line 3x plus 4y minus P equals to 0 is a tangent to the circle x square plus y square equals to 16. The line equation try to write as y equals to mx plus c. The circle equation, 
try to write as x square plus y square equal to a square. Comparing x square plus y square equals to a square with a given circle, we get a square equals 16. The line equation, we try to write y equals to mx plus c format. Keep 4y in the left minus 3x plus p. We need only y divide by 4. y equals minus 3 by 4x plus p by 4. Comparing with y equals to mx plus c, m is minus 3 by 4, c is p by 4. Condition for y equals to mx plus c to be a tangent to the circle x square plus y square equal to a square is c square equals to a square into 1 plus m square. Substituting c value p by 4 the whole square. a square is 16 into 1 plus m square 9 by 16. P square by 16 equals 16 into LCM 16 cross multiply 16 plus 9. 16, 16 we can cancel. As we try to simplify, P square is 16 into 25 or P equals to plus R minus root of 16 into 25. We get plus R minus 16 square root 4, 25 square root 5. So, the answer is plus R minus 20. The question is to find the value of P and P value is plus R minus 20 which is the answer.